All right, guys, we're here with Press Pass LA talking to Adam and Pam from Mob Steel, the new show on NBC. Tell us a little bit about your show, guys. Uh, premiere Sunday night after the uh, NASCAR race, NBCSN. We're super excited about it. I, uh, I, was, you know, obviously we're not we're not TV people. We uh, hit stuff with a hammer for a living, but they got to capture us building some awesome cars, and I, I think it's going to be something everybody's into. We celebrate Detroit. We celebrate the history of the automobile, and you get a. Uh, see uh, Life of Mob Steel. You get to see how we interact and uh, get to see us build some cool cars and, and have a good time. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, that, that works. What's your um, favorite? Did that on purpose. That was her lines. I just you stole them? She's doing all the talking today. Good work. What's uh, the favorite car that you're going to build this season on the show? Oh, uh, my, let's see, we have a couple of few because we've done some crazy builds and then some just regular customers. One of the Lincolns would be my favorite. We've, I'm, I'm all Gangstar. 70, 70 uh, Lodestar body, built a totally custom chassis. We uh, picked up an old Dodge truck with a 5.9 Cummins in it, pumped the motor up. I mean, it's just a burnout flame throwing monster. It looks like some. It looks like a toy that came to life. I mean, that's that's really what I like doing now. I like that just absolute wild freedom. Uh, I broke the checkbook. She was a little upset with me. It's a shop truck. It's not the most practical it's shop truck. truck. It's a useless shop truck, but it's a. But it does all it's not useless in any fashion. If it throws flames and does burnouts, it's getting the job done. I mean, you know. I actually would argue to say that that truck probably got you this show. So really, he didn't break the check, but he helped everyone, right? Yeah. So, yeah. That's one way to justify it. Thanks for giving him Thank more uh, ammunition there. You guys are my favorite. I'm, I'm in with you. So you what? to buy something that could actually seat everyone at the shop and haul things. And so we have a two-seater that throws flames and uh, <laughs> is a giant toy, Mad Max toy. So well, it's all right. Yeah, well, you know, you got to be, be more specific on what you need. What a, so uh, what got you guys into cars? I, I've been into cars my whole life. I mean, just, I mean, grandfather. Detroit, yeah, right? yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it speaks for itself. If you're anywhere near Detroit, the Motor City, it's it's in your blood. I mean, everything everything revolves around it. So whether you have a restaurant or you have a business that supplies parts, that's all you know. My grandfather dealership, my other grandfather made parts. Um, you know, all my friends and family were either at the Proving Grounds or on the line. I just... I just love it, man. So you, it's, don't, you can't meet anyone who doesn't have a family member that's tied to the automotive industry in some one way or another out there. So my grandpa bought cars, and you know his was a dealer. So it's just how it how y'all grow up up there.